Okay, so we're across the street. Last year, if you remember, we uh, uh, asked folks to honk for the hogs. Craig joined me here on the corner last year, and you got Craig now. However, there's actually another special guest. Uh, when does that special guest arrive? Well, the special guest arrived, actually, if you want to go back to in 1958. Sir, we have one hour. Okay, and I was watching Frank Broyles on the Saturday, Sunday show do the Razorback Report, and he was a televangelist at the time. A televangelist, Not you say? Just a coach. He would sell you on the Razorbacks, and from that point on, I was inspired to become... Folks, you're seeing a transformation live. With robes. LRPD is looking at us. <laughs> they're, they're a little concerned, uh, as am I, actually. Live TV right now. Uh, uh -huh. And I would, uh, was inspired to somehow get on this robe. Do, do, you, do you require assistance? Uh, well, you I need to find on. the other arm. Help anyway. I can't find the arm. It's in there uh, somewhere. Somebody help him. Anyway. I was inspired to become <laughs> Brother Rufus J. Hogg of the Ramblin' Razorback Temple of Faith. Say hallelujah, Brother Scott. Do you feel it today? Uh, it, it's a little chilly. Is that what you're talking about? That's exactly what I'm talking about, a little chilly. But brothers and sisters, it's going to warm up a little bit later. As soon as I get these robes on. We'll send things about about back into you. He's going to work out this wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> We're honking for the hogs at the corner of 7th and Chester. Swing by a honk at us if you're around. Have a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> yeah, it, Scott, can you assist him or something? Oh, he needs a little. There we go. Okay. Hey, get it on. hey, come on, come on, get over here. Put the sign down for just a second. They're they're wanting to know what reaction we're getting, how are fans feeling going into tomorrow? We're getting big honks, we're getting little ones. I don't want the little ones. I don't want people coming by going, hey, 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 hey. I don't want a little tap. You want them to lay on it like they're lay on it. Lay on the Give line. me some commitment, brothers and sisters. I want to see something from you. I want to hear something from you. Make it loud, make it proud. Say hallelujah. Okay, get back to work. We're going to send things back into the studio. Uh, if you're in downtown Little Rock, come yeah. check us out. We're at the corner of 7th and Chester. I, can hear it. I got Brother yeah. Hogg here. I'm trying to keep him in line. I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, you guys save some of that tailgate food for us as well, okay? <laughs> well, we hear the honking right outside. I know. Here. It's They're hilarious. just like around the corner, and we can hear it. Sounds like some big old trucks going by for sure. <laughs> we well, need to get some 18 wheeler. Yeah. I got this old guy. He's just screaming at the top of his lungs. He's kind of fired up. Getting a lot of good responses, but here's the thing. Brother Hogg does not want a little honk. Uh -oh, don't want he, a little honk. He wants a big honk. What is that? You can tell when a car is paid for by how loud the honk is. Uh, we're learning lots of new things out here. Uh, Brother Hogg, come back here. I, 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 I'm, I'm curious, based off the reaction you're receiving from everyone passing by, uh, what's your prediction tomorrow? Can you judge based off of the honks? We're going on the honks. It's going to be 42 to 7 Arkansas. The game will be boring, but not if you're a Razorback fan. It's going to be over early, and we're going to celebrate late. Say hallelujah. Bold predictions, hallelujah. You said 42 to 7. That's what you said? 42 to 7 based on the honk average, and only one person has driven through the intersection without a honk. And he had a resolute expression, which can only mean one thing. He's late for work. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here from Brother Hogg himself. Getting some good honks. We're going to keep causing some racket out here. You guys have fun. We'll check back in with you here soon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Perfect honking for the hog weather here on the corner of 8th and Chester. Uh, Brother Hog, uh, do you have just a moment to come visit with us again? Uh, you got my sign from last year that did me really well. It's not doing me well at all, Brother Scott. Well, you got to hold it differently. You, you really got to do it with confidence. I've tried the wave. I've tried the rotate. I've tried the wave. I've tried the springing it up on people in surprise. It's just not producing the results that the little handheld sign that's dripping, uh, dripping uh, glitter. Uh, you know, I, I think if you keep practicing it, you're going to be okay. What, uh, what is your observation given the reactions you've gotten? Are, are Hog fans feeling good going in tomorrow? Are we apprehensive? Uh, uh, the only ones that don't feel good that have really not honked was the eight Canadian geese that flew over just a moment ago during your weather and would not honk. Can't they read the sign? Everybody else is into it big time, which can only mean one thing. We're going to win, brothers and sisters. Say hallelujah. You know, I like your confidence, but I got to tell you, I saw those geese fly by in V formation towards the north, and that's the wrong direction they need to be flying this time of the year. So I'm not sure you can take much from that, uh, but, you know, maybe a grain of salt. We're having a lot of fun here at the Ooh, corner of 8th and Chester. We'll He's fired up. Tomorrow night. There you go. He's interrupting me <laughs> left and right. You can't control this man. If you want to get in the car, come on. We'll be here for a little bit.
little bit longer. Give us a honk, but don't cause a wreck. That'd be bad. There you go. See, got a few more honks. Yo, there you, you should go. be we'll using the other side. Out here. We'll check back in with you guys here coming up in just a few minutes. I made that other yes, side. Yes, That's why you're not getting honks. I mean, maybe it has glittery and the, the glitter didn't dry, but... Well, well I, it could be the wet glitter. It's all over his hands. He's <laughs> shining like a diamond out here. He's glistening in the sun. That's, that he thinks it's his attention. skincare routine. I don't have the heart to tell him it's actually just the glitter. Yeah. <laughs>